we're going to install the solar panels on the roof. But first, we have to attach a roof rack. Ford Transit has these little square boxes on the roof with these little circles, and there's five of them on each side of the Ford Transit extended version. Underneath these little circles, these little plugs, there's going to be M8 coarse metric nuts already installed above the ribs that Ford has already put in there for you. We're going to attach our roof rack to these nuts. It's almost like a rubber plug, it feels like. Now we got the plug removed. You can look down the hole and see the threads of the coarse M8 metric nut Ford has installed. Now we'll go ahead and remove all 10 of these plugs. Okay, I made a mistake and ripped up this plug only to find out there's nothing underneath it but foam. Not sure why Ford actually drilled holes here and then put plugs over top of them when there's nothing underneath them. I understand why they put plugs over these. There's actually nuts that you can attach your roof rack to. So what we'll do is we'll cover this hole up with flex paste and then for preventative measures, we're actually gonna cover all these plugs up with flex paste to prevent any future leaks. One thing I noticed here is the hole doesn't exactly line up with the sheet metal and the nut that they put in there. So we're going to get a special tool bit, put it on the end of our drill bit, and then we're going to grind this away so we can make a nice easy entrance to the nut there. Next we're going to cut up some one inch thick HDPE. And here we put the blade on a six degree angle and we're going to go ahead and cut this lengthwise. We took the HDPE and we went ahead and put a six degree shave on it. This started out as a one inch block and then we also cut it to size. So now you can put that right on top. Actually makes it nice and flat and it's solid. So what we can do now is go get a heavy duty uh, corner brace or L bracket and we'll attach that here, drill a hole through here and then we'll go ahead and attach our 80-20. So let's go look for some L brackets. These might work right here too. Put a hole right there. It's kind of open to put a hole in the middle anywhere along here. It's about the two and a half inches that we need. They're only $2 a piece, these are four. Next, we're gonna use some butyl sealing tape to put in between the van and the HDPE to make it watertight. After we put the M8 metric bolt through the split lock washer, the bracket, and the HDPE, we'll go ahead and add the flex paste to seal it all up. All right, so now you can see the flex paste is all dry. The part that I screwed up on, where I lifted up, it actually sealed back down. And then for preventative, we went ahead and sealed all those little caps that are up here. So now we got this on, got our holes drilled. We're gonna go ahead and attach our 80-20. So now we have the 80-20 up here. We got towels underneath to kind of help hold it up. And we're trying to attach it to this hole. We're using socket head button screws. We're also going to use a split lock washer. This is going to help prevent it from uh, vibrating and backing off. Screw that on, that's going to crush down and hold it, and then we're going to use a washer. Then we're using these nuts inside of here, and that's what these are. Problem is, it moves from like side to side, so it's hard to get that lined up with the screw every time we do it. So we need something to hold this in place. We're going to use a little bit of tissue paper and put that underneath the hole. So it. we're going to use the tissue paper now to be able to raise these little nuts up so we can hold them in place. Dad, what'd you think of uh, using the tissue trick? That good. All right, so now we have the 80-20 attached. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the solar panels. When we measured from the outside of the 80-20, it ended up being 54 and a half inches, which is the exact size for the solar panels going lengthwise. So we're gonna attach four 200 watt solar panels on top of here and a max air fan. So now we gotta get this connected to the 8020. What we're going to use is a zinc plated punch flat bar. We're going to cut it into three inch sections and we're going to spray paint it black. So when we attach our stuff, we're going to use. So we use this, a washer, 
then we have these nylon nuts. got our first panel up you can see how we connected to the 8020 and we got our wires right here we're just gonna drill a hole stick it into the hole and then we'll be able to wrap our cable up so that way we don't have it flapping around in the wind when we're driving Yeah, we gotta <laughs> we've got to put the brackets on. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna pull this back down. Alright, let's get the brackets on before we put these up here. Makes it a hell of a lot easier. Uh that's the worst, being in the middle of your project and running out of hardware. connect four of our solar panels to this and it will go to just one line that will go into the van to connect to our solar system on the end of all of our solar panels we're gonna add these these are actually inline fuses so we have four of them we'll connect them to all four solar panels so we got a little inline fuse We'll just connect the positive cable. We'll go ahead and connect that. Just push it all the way to your here. Click. Now we're going to go ahead and connect it to our four in one branch connector. It's a good idea to start hooking these up now. Put on our next fuse on the next panels. And you see how it just basically clips in until it here's that click. No. What a mistake. Look at that. Did it over top of the 8020. All right. So I got to get this back out. Got these tabs here you can push. And pull that right back out. So let's go the correct way. Let's go underneath. And we'll just click those back together. Connect the negative one. All right, so now we got the first two solar panels hooked up with the inline fuses and connected to their four one branch connectors. Now we'll hook the third and fourth panel up and we'll get those connected. So now we got all four solar panels attached to the roof. I was going for something low profile and stealth, and this is what I ended up with. Now we just got to get the wires into the van. Now we're running the solar cables from the solar panels on the roof into the van. Run them through these little nuts right here inside the holes through here and into the holes that we drilled in the top of the van. And then wires coming from the solar panel run through the nuts and then out the bottom. We're going to go ahead and seal it up with some butyl tape. Putting it in the freezer makes it easier to work with. Another quick tip is you can use the wax paper here to push the butyl tape into place so that way it's not sticking all over your fingers and everything and then comes right up now all we have to do is just tighten these nuts up it'll squeeze the plastic together and tighten up the rubber that's on the inside and make a watertight seal here you can see the solar wires coming into the van and they'll be hidden by the ceiling panel so now you can see the solar panel wires went into the double cable entry gland and we want to use flex paste to seal that up all right now we got the solar panels up and everything connected i'll give you a final view of how everything looks we use the hex bolts and then we use the flat punch bar to connect everything each solar panel got two connections to it and then it was connected to the 8020 and then that 8020 is connected to the little L bracket here that we got from Lowe's and we had to drill a hole in it to put our metric bolt and connect that to the metric nut that Ford has already installed into their van and then we had to drill another hole in the back here and we connected that to the 8020 and then you see we used the flex paste to seal everything up the next part is the hard plastic it's the HDPE we bought a sheet of it cut it to this size Put a six degree angle on it and then underneath this we have the butyl tape and then that's sticking to the van and then we use flex paste on everything around it so no leaks this is the front of the roof and you can see there's a gap underneath that allows the wind to go underneath to help cool the solar panels down 
and it also gives shade to the van from the solar panels giving a little shade on there and there's no sound or any noise from wind when i'm traveling at 80 miles an hour or any speed for that matter and i've driven at 80 miles an hour with crosswinds and this thing stays on solid we don't even know the panels are up here we connected this little eyelet here to connect the tarp to pull out to the side to give a shade and then you can see you can connect to all four sides of the 8020 and the good thing about the 8020 rack it's universal so you can attach a lot of different things to it if we wanted we could have went with less panels and then went ahead and attached two by threes or two by fours to the 8020 and we could have made a deck up here if we wanted but we added a fan and we could have configured this any way we wanted we could have put the fan up front move the panels to the back so that's the nice thing is once you set up the roof rack with the 8020 you can configure your roof however you like to do it panels storage deck fans so i hope this video helped you out with any tips or tricks to get this done for yourself and save a couple bucks.